All right, so let's break down the fast lane in thumb style. So I'm a big fan of this track due to its rapid fire 16th note phrases with loads of syncopation, but it's not terribly difficult once you understand the charting, which we'll go over in this tutorial. Now from a sync calibration standpoint, I found the most success in this chart when I added 10 milliseconds to my base sync value. Again, sync is unique to each player and their device, so I won't give out a specific number, but if you find that you're struggling, you might try adding 10 milliseconds in this chart and see how that works for you. Now for the intro stage, we have a very relaxed opener. Pop socket flat spin, completely optional of course, but after the long rest, we have a nice section of easy eighth notes and sixteenths that logically flow on left and right fingers. Now section two pumps up the intensity, and I'm going to stop the track here to go over this syncopated phrase because it shows up elsewhere in this section and the rest of the tune and often gives players trouble. Now the bursts of double sixteenth notes with a sixteenth note rest in between that sound like da 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 will actually alternate between left and right hand facing. So what that means is, to get the most natural feel, your leading thumb in the middle lane will need to also alternate between left, right, and left again to ensure that that second sixteenth note feels natural and therefore accurate. Let's watch. Now the rest of section two repeats as it did before. Lots of sixteenth note bursts. And again, here's that double sixteenth note alternating thumb tip here. Now section three starts with some swipes and eighth note doubles, but I'll stop here for another quick tip. So this is the first major continuous string of sixteenth notes in the song, and to ensure consistency and scoring, I like to make sure that the setup is done properly and feels natural. In my opinion, the best way to approach this is with a left-right leading into the 16th note string, again with your right thumb, and then alternating left-right accordingly. After that, it's more familiar bursts of three 16th notes, but with some swipes mixed in. Okay, now we'll stop here. Now this mini passage is one that can give players trouble, particularly those who are trying to increase their scores and not simply just clear the song. What's important to keep in mind is that rhythmically, it's a consistent eighth note feel throughout the entire little passage. One and two and three and four and one. Obviously, the developers have complicated this by making some of the eighth note swipes, some of the eighth notes double taps, and some of the eighth note singles. To ensure that I maintain consistent rhythm and therefore scoring, I like to set up the swipe portions like so. Right, left, right, left, left, right, and then finish with a natural left. After that, it's more bursts of 16th notes. Follow along with my leading thumbs for the most natural feel. Now the key to scoring in stage four is to really nail down those tricky little syncopated rhythms in the lyrics. Now this whole song is charted entirely based off the lyrics, so I really recommend getting a lot of playtime under your belt or watching along to my video to try and figure that out along with the most natural thumb placements, and the big thing is to not rush. In the early parts of stage five, it's more 16th note bursts and syncopations where again, I really recommend familiarizing yourself with the lyrics to nail down those tricky little rhythms. My last big tip in section five comes here. The last part of section five is a callback to the beginning of the song with similar lyrics and feel. However, after playing through this song literally dozens of times, I only recently realized that when they say the words, we live in the fast lane, to me, it had always sounded and felt like a triplet-based rhythm, but it's actually not charted that way. As an aside, a triplet is when three notes occur in a beat of a given measure. For example, triplet, 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 triplet. We live in the fast lane. We live in the fast lane. In reality, it plays like a 16th note based rhythm. So unlike the triplet feel, we live in the fast lane. We live in the fast lane. It's actually, we live in the fast lane. 
we live in the fast lane. Which sounds like a small detail, but it makes a huge difference when you're trying to grind for that last two or three perfects, and this phrase repeats itself four times in the end part of the song. So with that key tip in mind, let's watch the end of the track where I play that 16th note based rhythm four times. And the very last tip I have for you is that when you realize you've made it this far through the song without messing up, please try to contain your excitement and do not rush. I repeat, do not rush the very last double tap of the song resulting in your only perfects. It's a horrible feeling. I've been there more than once. Don't be me. Kidding aside, I sincerely hope that this breakdown of the fast lane has been informative. What did you think? Leave me a comment down below, and if you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing to support the channel. Thanks again, we'll see you next time.